viewers the question is on your screen you have to design a logic to implement a sticky bit a sticky bit is very common in digital designs perhaps those who are bit experienced they may understand what i am trying to say anyway let us move towards the question in the question you have two inputs clock and input ip whenever there is a rising edge detected on this input ip or any pulse detected as shown in a figure the sticky bit which is an output will go high and will remain high for the entire system operation thereafter friends now you can pause my video here take your time to think of its answer if you get to know its answer please write down in the comment section otherwise i am going to explain its answer friends the logic is very simple ip is the input sticky bit is the expected output and this is flip flop and this is or gate let us assume that the initial value of ip is 0 and sticky bit is also 0 so when sticky bit is 0 so both the input of this or gate will be 0 so output of this or gate will be 0 so this way on each active edge of the clock this 0 is getting passed to sticky bit and sticky bit is always 0 now when ip goes high so output of this or gate will go high irrespective of the other input and hence at the active edge of the clock the output of this or gate will be passed to sticky bit i mean to say one will be passed at the output of this flop which is sticky bit so sticky bit will go high so as this sticky bit becomes logic one so logic one will be passed at the input of this or gate and hence the output of this or gate will remain high irrespective of the other input and this one keep on passing to this sticky bit and this sticky bit will get stuck at logic 1 and this is our expectation friends the logic is very simple but some of the times few of my friends ask me that at the time of interview sometimes our mind does not work this way so is there any solution that we can drive such type of logic circuit diagrams at the time of interview when there is a pressure and the answer is yes we should start writing the very log code as per the expected behavior for example in our case when reset is high the output should be zero output is my sticky bit else when reset is not applied now we should see the input that is ip so we know that when input is zero we should retain its value output should be always zero now as soon as ip goes high the output will be equal to 1 now again when ip will go zero output will retain its value which will be equal to output friends it is very easy to write this behavioral level of code as compared to writing a logic circuit diagram this is my experience this reset signal will be applied at the input of the flop and this if else statement will implement a mux we have discussed many times in our previous lectures you can go through it now let me show the final logic circuit diagram so this will be the final logic circuit diagram ip will be applied at the select line of the multiplexer and whenever ip is high output will be high so whenever ip is high this input will be passed at the output of the multiplexer and this should be high and whenever ip is zero that means this else statement will be implemented output should retain its value so at that time i am passing this sticky bit at the input of this multiplexer and this way this sticky bit will retain its value friends with this i am going to end this video this was a short video but it was quite important and i hope that it would be quite informative for all of you viewers if you have such type of questions and you face them in the interview sessions please don't hesitate to share them in the comment section we will prepare videos on them and if you think appropriate we will share your name in that video thank you so much for watching thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content your support means a lot to us